we are going to learn to make a flower ball an origami flower ball um, I have some hanging in my classroom that you've seen before we start with the plain green square it can be any color actually colored on one side white on the other side we're going to put the square in front of us like this and fold the colored side outside making a triangle lining up the edges carefully and then creasing them across open it back up and make a triangle going the other direction line up the points line up the edges and once you've got everything lined up then you crease it open it back up you see we have a big X hopefully you can see that now we made triangles now we're going to make rectangles fold it into a rectangle match the corners and we have a rectangle going that direction open it back up turn triangle going the other direction excuse me rectangle going the other direction Put it back up, flip it over with the pretty side out. All right. We have the pretty side out. We're going to take each corner and fold it into the center. be careful here because this is overlapping and I don't want that so let's do it the best I can right there and now we have a square with flaps okay now So we open the flaps and turn the whole thing over again. Now we're going to fold each side to the center like so to the center line lined up carefully and crease. up carefully and crease. We want to fold the upper and lower edges to the center. Upper edge to the center. Crease. Lower edge to the center and crease. Okay, so your piece should look like this so far. All right. All right, now we're going to take each corner. I'll start with this corner. I'm going to stick my finger in between those two and pull that out. Press it down. Take this corner, put my finger, pull it out, 
press down. Hopefully you can see that in the picture. Now I'm just going to turn it around and do the same thing again. I'm putting my finger right in here and I'm pulling it out. I'm not making any new folds. Just pressing it down. Just pulling, pulling out the corner. It's already been folded. This one's being a little stubborn. Sometimes you have to work with it a little bit. Pull it out. And press it down. And you have this kind of a shape in front of you. This next step is a little tricky, but you'll just have to kind of try to watch what I do. It's hard to describe. I'm going to bring this corner and make it into a square like so. If you have trouble with this step in the video, come see me in real life and I can work with you. But maybe if we do each corner, by the time we do all the corners, maybe you'll get it. I'm taking this and pulling it, maneuvering it into a square over the top of that. Okay, I'm going to pull the, there's already a fold there, I'm just bringing it forward and, you see that? I'm just moving it over that way and pressing down. It's already folded but I'm just flattening it like that. And we'll do it the other direction. Got to get my finger in between there. Okay, bring in this fold alongside that way and there we have a square shape again. Take a corner of one of the squares and I'm going to line up this edge with this edge like so. And crease it so that it looks like that. Okay, and turn it around and do the same. The other side of the square, fold it like so. Try not to overlap them, but just knead it. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can see mine isn't. It has a little white showing. Um, do each corner that way. I'm going from the center out along the fold. I'm making a new fold there. Turn. I'm probably getting the idea of what's looking like here. Kind of looks like a kite. You can turn it however is most comfortable for you, as long as you're making the right folds. I happen to be left-handed. I don't know if it affects how I turn things, but you can try different ways that are comfortable for you, as long as you're going from the center. Now I'm going to lift up a flap till it's standing straight up and then I'm going to just press the edge in like so. Pretty tricky. It's not too hard but you have to stand up that flap and then push on the end of it and flatten it down. And you'll see the white showing. It makes it kind of pretty inside. 
do that for each flap. It's uh, depending on how tightly the flap is stuck together. There, I worked it so I can easily push down and flatten it. Stand it up straight. Kind of have to get these. There we go. Push it. Flatten it. Stand it up straight. Push on the end. Flatten it. Sometimes they go nice and smoothly. Other times you have to work with it a little bit. Maybe that one doesn't want to push in, so I have to open it up a little. Now I can push it in. Maybe. Push in the edge. And flatten it. Can you see that, guys? Okay. Lift it up till it stands. Okay, and then flattening it down. I'm lining up the folds so they're nice and pretty. Or cool, whatever you want to be. And flatten it down. Look, guys. You have a flower. Mm, I'm going to show you the one last step. But take a look at that. You've got a square. See if yours looks like that. If it doesn't, you can um, backtrack a little in the video and watch some of it over or come and get me in person. Okay? Now, what I'm going to do, we're going to make six of these together and glue them together and it will make a beautiful ball like you see hanging in my classroom. I don't have one with me right now to show you, but I'm going to take the corners and fold them under. Then they'll be ready to paste together. We'll paste six of these together into a ball shape, a 3D shape. So all I'm going to do is fold the fold the corners back. You want to fold them right to the tips of the petals. These are going to be the petals now. So I'm not just going to fold it any old way like that. I have to fold it right back along next to the points of the petals. Can you see that? I can turn it upside down too if it and show you and fold it until I see that crease there. I'm going to crease it like right there at that specific point. And there we have it. And then what we're going to do is glue the backs of these flaps onto the backs of the other flaps on the other flowers you make. So this is kind of the flower. We put a bunch of them together into a flower ball. Thank you for watching.